figure ground lyrics. So this episode is about figure ground, which is basically the distinction between an object and its background. In art, this is also called positive space and negative space, in which case the positive space is the object on which your attention is focused. And the negative space is kind of the space around the object or the background. In the case of a figure ground illusion, your brain uh, cannot really decide which is the object and which is the background. So in this image, for instance, you can see both two faces or a face, depending on how you look at it. And MC Escher used this kind of illusion a lot. And oftentimes you can see two different shapes, but you cannot see them both at the same time. You have to kind of switch back and forth to see the one or see the other. So for this song, I decided to write a lyric based on the figure ground principle. So the idea was to have a melody with two layers, uh, upper notes and lower notes. And if you only listen to the higher notes, for instance, and that's the object of your attention, you will hear a certain lyric. And the same goes for the lower notes. If you would only listen to the low notes in the melody, you could also hear a distinct lyric. And at the same time, I also want to have those both two layers work together. So if you listen to all the notes of the melody, you can also hear a lyric that works. So let me give you an example of how this works. For instance, I start with writing just one sentence. Uh, in this case, the big blue fish waves. The big blue fish waves. And that's my starting point. And this is a perfectly correct uh, sentence. But I can also split it in two sentences. For instance, if I write it like this, I write the same words, but I kind of alternate between high and low. So now I have two sentences, two very short sentences. Don't know if you can see it. So now we have big fish and the blue waves. And this is kind of the same principle that I used for writing the whole lyric of the song. So in the end, you can divide it in two sections of lyrics, uh, which you can listen to separately, but also listen to them at the same time. And it was quite a puzzle to make the lyric in such a way that everything fits and all the lines make sense in terms of uh, meaning and grammar. Uh, so listen to the song and see if you can hear it. bass in this song is playing a falling line which in music history is sometimes called a lemon bass in the sense that it's often used in very melancholic or tragic music. So the title of this song is based on The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. And in this book, there's an alien race uh, and they build a kind of supercomputer to calculate the ultimate answer to life, the universe and everything. And after years and years of calculating, it's finally announced that the supercomputer has its big answer. And there's a big crowd uh, gathering to see uh, what the answer is and it turns out to be 42. So everybody is puzzled and then the question arises, well, if that's the ultimate answer, then what was the ultimate question? 
uh, in the end they have to build a new supercomputer to calculate the ultimate question of life, the universe and everything. Uh, and this su supercomputer turns out to be planet Earth and the human race. So those are great books and I recommend uh, you read them. Anyway, the lyric of this song is presented as a kind of weird dialogue between a human being and this kind of supercomputer. And who's to say if we were to have a conversation with this kind of computer that it would be able to understand us and our consciousness and our concepts. And in this particular dialogue, there are quite a few uh, very revealing misunderstandings. For my patrons, I always make a kind of uh, lyric art to go with every song. And for this particular song, I had a kind of graphic idea in mind, uh, which I'll make a drawing of. And the idea was to kind of represent visually the idea of the lyrics. There it is. And you have kind of two objects, uh, which together form a new object. In this case, you have a face looking from the left to the right. And there's also a face looking from the right to the left. And to, together they form a new face, which is looking straight at you. So I thought that was nice. And then I suddenly uh, was reminded of this old logo from the old Macintosh computer. So it turns out I'm not so original, but it's cool. Okay, that's it. If you're curious to hear the whole song, please go to patreon.com slash inventions and subscribe and you'll receive every new song that comes uh, with these videos. For now, thanks for watching this video and until next episode. Cheers.